up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keepstar. Let's go right into the news! <laughs> Woo, I did it! I did the intro! Oh my god, Mr. Beast has caused a kid to destroy his PC. But before we get into that, the world record egg is cracking. That's right, the world record egg on Instagram started cracking and it's cracking more and more and more. So what exactly is going to happen when the egg hatches? Well, some are guessing that a sponsor will reveal itself. You know, like a McDonald's comes out of that thing or something. And they are saying that that sponsorship... To, to come out of that world record egg is worth about $10 million. So someone is going to be very rich. But also, we talked about it here on Drumler that the owner of the world record egg might be Supreme Patty. Well, it's not Patty because the world record egg has blocked him and said to journalists in DMs, it ain't Patty. I don't know about you, but I can't wait until the egg is hatched. Also, in the news, a couple weeks ago, we told you about Tifu and Karina. But then, a week later, we told you about Karina and Logan Paul. And guess what? Apparently, Logan Paul is rubbing it in Tifu's face that he stole his girl. It all happened when FaZe Rug went on Logan Paul's podcast. That's when Logan Paul took serious digs at Tifu. Roll it. That dude Tifu, he, uh... Oh my gosh. Uh, how did they find this guy? Tifu? Now he's one of the one of the biggest on Twitch, yeah. Literally, yeah, and one of the best Fortnite players in the world. He's so fucking he's good. so good. I feel like, like he could get like any girl, bro. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, yo, Tifu yeah. is nice with it. Yo, he's yeah. slick because he's like he's got swag. That's dude. what I'm yeah. saying. Like I feel like once he locks down a chick, oh, it's over. She ain't going anywhere, <laughs> I, bro. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what What are you doing right now? Huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Is that, anyway. why you, is that why you play Fortnite so much, Logan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Fortnite for me is like... Wow. Very, very interesting. Wasn't it just like a week ago, Jake Paul was trying to get people to sub the ninja to beat Tifu, and now you got Logan Paul bragging that he stole Tifu's girl? First of all, I don't know about you, but I heard behind the scenes that Tifu was the one that told Karina, I just don't really got time for a girl right now. That's what I was told. That's all I was told. I don't know. I ain't telling you who told me that, but I'm just saying, I'm, I'm Logan Paul, I'm pretty sure you didn't pull a robbery, but if you did, give us a little bit more proof than that. And speaking about YouTuber relationships, it's kind of well known that the very popular Ethan Dolan from the Dolan Twins is dating... Emma Chamberlain, giant YouTuber. Well, apparently, Ethan is so in love with Emma Chamberlain, like, um, he's, he's been getting a little jealous. Twitter user known as Will Weinbach tweeted out that his celebrity crush was Emma Chamberlain. And after posting that tweet, he was blocked by Ethan Dolan. Really, Ethan? You got something to worry about, really? I mean, you're a Dolan twin. I mean, you kids are, like, seriously, like, I mean, I'm not... I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not homosexual, but I'm just saying, like, that, I feel awkward. Also in the news, Ice Poseidon is a very popular in real life streamer here on YouTube. One of the biggest, you know, he goes around and, uh, well, it's hard to explain exactly what he does, but he has a very big live streaming show here on YouTube and his show is so big, it spawned the creation of many other live streamers. In fact, it got so big that Ice Poseidon made his own network of other streamers here on YouTube. And one of the streamers on Ice Poseidon's network uh, is probably someone you know, and the biggest, Sam Pepper. Over the last couple years, Sam Pepper and Ice Poseidon have become good friends. I mean, Sam Pepper had a big YouTube career and then his career was over. He wasn't getting any views. And many people think that Ice Poseidon gave Sam Pepper another career with streaming. Well, a couple days ago, Ice Poseidon tweeted out this. Due to reasons I choose not to disclose, Sam Pepper is banned on my Reddit 
and removed from the network. He crossed a line that a friend should never cross. And enough is enough. This is not a manager influenced event or decision. It's from my own experiences and thoughts. Wow, now this was a big shock in the Ice Poseidon world here on YouTube. So when I saw this immediately, I needed to get answered. So I called Ice Poseidon on the phone, talked privately, and then I called Sam Pepper. And it turns out, well, basically, Sam Pepper was talking privately to Ice Poseidon's girlfriend. And Ice did not enjoy that. But apparently, Sam's not going to be the only one being kicked from the network. I heard a rumor that more people will be kicked out of the network and replaced. And speaking about being replaced, one YouTuber had to replace his name. That's right, we're talking about Rob Dyke, who is now Rob Galvagan. He uploaded a video to YouTube saying I had to change my name. Okay, so get this. You know how there's like robots all over YouTube, you know, demonetizing videos and stuff, listening for like bad words everywhere? Well, apparently, because the dude's name was Rob Dyke, his videos were getting demonetized because his name is Dyke and, you know, Dyke's a, a slang word for, like, a lesbian, like, and apparently, like, the robots couldn't figure out that, wait, this is this dude's name. I just don't know what's going on at YouTube anymore. Like, somebody put a band-aid on it. It's, it's not feeling that well. And now for our final story. Mr. Beast destroying this kid's PC. How could he? A very small streamer started streaming Fortnite with about 15 viewers when all of a sudden in his chat he saw that Mr. B6000 donated $6,000. So at this point, the kid is freaking out. But it's not really a $6,000 donation. Someone's just typing it. And, um, well, it's not really Mr. Beast. It's just somebody trolling him. However, the fake Mr. Beast went as far as telling the kid that he would buy him a $5,000 brand new computer if he destroyed his current one. And ladies and gentlemen, the kid fell for it. Watch this, roll it. Through this process. No, 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 he wants you to dump water on it. So go to your bathroom and get a cup of water and dump it on, dump it on the PC. brand new PC. All right. Let's just take one more final look at it because- um, We see the chat? All right, guys, as you can see, this is the PC. Brand new. Brand new $1,200 one. Going in here. Charlie, watch out. Do you want to say any last words before you throw it in um, the tub? Let's just say, I hope this is real. It's not Put real. some soap on that. Oh, my Lord. Oh, and your brother's helping. Oh, uh, there we go. Probably for the rest of his juvenile yeah. life. Like, what? Ugh. Like, just please. Like, how could you fall for it? Like, like all of us are sitting here like, how could you be so dumb? How could you fall for it? But I guess if you think about it, it's just this little kid. He's never streamed before, you know. He, he. Now, when this news came out, there were a couple articles being made about it. And Mr. Beast, the real Mr. Beast, responded by quoting the article on Twitter and saying this. Alexa, play that sad song everybody asks you to play. But that's when the kid's mother responded to Mr. Beast on Twitter saying this. As stupid as it looks to most of you, my son and his friends thought it was some guy they follow and it wasn't. We screwed up his PC and it's up to mama to fix the situation. That's it. No need for videos or awful comments. Whoa, so a lot of people were asking the real Mr. Beast to buy this kid a computer because, you know, he was a victim of this troll. So I shot a text to Mr. Beast asking him what his thoughts were. And this is the statement that he gave me. My voice is starting to go again. God damn it. I was doing so good. I said, do you have a statement on the kid smashing the PC? Mr. Beast said, I feel bad about it. But unfortunately, I don't want to replace it and start a trend where people break things in hope of me fixing it. If Twitch would simply verify me, this would all be fixed. I've gotten hundreds and millions of views donating to people on their platform, so it makes no sense not to. I must say, Twitch, uh, Mr. Beast has a point. Verify Mr. Beast. Hashtag verify Mr. Beast.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the news today. Guys, if you are new here and you want to keep up to date with the news going on in the community, make sure you take the time to subscribe with notifications on. Because as soon as I get the scoop, I want to keep you in the loop. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, take the time to slap a like on it. That's how I know I'm doing a good job. Drumler Nation now over 4,700,000 subscribers.